Hello everyone and welcome to the Tea Trail. So this is our second video now here on YouTube on this channel and since I made the last video we've actually been able to get our online store online so it's at teatrail.net so if you want to support these videos of course you can just put the thumb put the thumb button down below subscribe to the channel and maybe order some of our tea from the online store so that's teatrail.net and right now the shipping is only within Europe so sorry about that maybe maybe when we go forward we'll be able to offer you offer shipping to other areas but just just for now it's only Europe so and uh, now for the second video so the first one was about the Xiaoguan tea from 2006 it's a Shengpur tea and and this one is also Shengpur and I think this is a bit of a hidden gem and uh, a tea and an area that I, I really like myself a lot so that's of course why I'm making this video and uh, that's gonna be true for all the teas that I introduce here so stuff that I like myself so so this tea is uh, it's from uh, a prefecture called Linchang and it's a kind of northern area in Yunnan province where they make tea and um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, more specifically, this is from a county called Chenkang, which is it's kind of to the to the west area, and it's it's uh, it's on the border. I mean, facing the border with Burma, so it's a very like a kind of like uh, away from the uh, more popular areas of tea production, and uh, it's not such a famous air place. This one, so it's it's from a mountain called Baodao, so Baodao Shan. And uh, you don't see it so much, but I think it's it's a really good. All the tea I've gotten from this mountain or this mountain range has been very nice, and uh, so and this this one too. This is probably the most uh, I think the most uh, important or most well-known producer in this area. So I'll show you from the nearby picture here or the close-up. So here it says Baodaoshan, and 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 that's the that's the name of the mountain where it's from. And, and here, this is the, the producer's name. So Cheng Kang, that's the county. And then Feng Wei Hui Tong is the name of this, this, this producer. And, uh, and they just call it Bao Daoshan. And, and this, this tea is from 2013. So uh, it's now about, what, maybe eight years old, roughly, at the moment. And uh, <clears throat> uh, so it's, I think it's an interesting age because it's no longer obviously young, but it's not old either. So it's actually at the, at the kind of stage where it's starting to lose the youthfulness, but it does not really taste old yet either. And I, th I think that's a really interesting age for Shengpur, and I, I really like it myself. Actually, okay, maybe I should just admit that I like Shengpur in all its age, whether it's very young, a little older, a bit older or very old I, I like all of it but uh, but but this this age is definitely interesting uh, so you get a kind of taste that is still kind of fresh but not young but at the same time not really old either so I'll show the uh, close-up of the leaf so this area has a kind of tends to have a larger leaf size so I think that's just to the cultivar of the that they use in this area and and this cake also it has beautiful leaf I think, and also very whole. The producer has been quite careful to maintain all the leaf whole. So, well, okay, obviously it's not all the leaf that is whole, but but overall it looks really nice. And I think they've done a really good job of treating the leaf well so it doesn't break too much. So, okay, let's give it a sniff. And uh, it's, uh, it's the kind of notes that you, I, I think I would tell you from many teas of this age. So... There's just a hint of like a smoky tar, but but it's not dominating at all. In this, as in the Xiaoguan, it was very dominating. In this one, there is some tar and smoke, but it's not kind of the main main uh, theme of this tea. So there's like a very like a aromatic uh, uh, aroma that you get from uh, trees that have leaves in them. So there's a kind of aromatic leafiness to it, and. Uh, a kind of woody note that is very like alive and 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 like a full of freshness. So it's like a, this kind of aromatic wood and leaf and mixed with a hint of smoke and tar. So it, it's it's pretty nice. And uh, overall, the tea in this area, the Linchang Prefecture, more widely, you often have the kind of uh, uh, taste or a kind of duality that uh, there is a, a kind of mossy woody features and then. That's uh, in contrast with another element that is much more fruity and fresh. Uh, and when it's young, it can be even kind of fairly flowery. So you have this kind of balance between wood and then very fresh fruity flowery elements. And, uh, and I think that you also do get it in this tea. Okay, so I separated some tea leaf. Maybe I'll show you quickly what that looks like. So I, of course it broke it's just a tiny bit from here and there, but that's not a problem. And uh, 
so hopefully it's clear from the picture so a fairly whole leaf and it's it's kind of a good size also and the color is like a, there's a lot of light brown and then darker brown colors in this okay so i just uh, think i boiled my water already let's just be sure yep it's it's actually 96 it's hot enough so i'll just do a quick rinse and heat and warming the easing tea pot. So I'm using just two two small uh, porcelain cups to drink this. It cools down a little faster when you have two small cups instead of one big cup. I just did another video just before this and in that video I used uh, one larger cup and it was very hot because I poured it fairly full and it was quite difficult to actually drink it. Okay, I'll separate a little bit the larger leaf that I got and then throw it in here. Hopefully they will roughly go inside the teapot at least, yeah. So, so for, as, I, as I said in the beginning, I think this this area and this tea is really like a, I, in my opinion, like a hidden gem in the way that this, the area is not famous, but I think that the, the, the quality of the tea is pretty good and, uh, and also I think it's a fair price at the same time, so. Okay, so I'll give it a sniff here. Oh, and it's it's just I, I don't know how to say it's like uh, it's like oily woody and and mixed with a little it's like an oil and tar and wood and, and there is this kind of uh, leaf tree weird aromatic leaf tree aroma like in some seasons you get in the kind of when you walk in a park there are some certain trees that that emit like a very aromatic oily aroma and this somehow has just that aroma so it's it's quite nice i think and uh, uh you don't run you, if you run into tea from this area there are some of course you can find some smaller producers that make baudashan the tea from this this area or from the chengkang county more widely uh, but this is probably the most common one you'll see and that this producer they make uh, all kinds of teas from this mountain also also shu pours in addition but i i think that the area is honestly much better suited for sheng pour than shu pour i think the tea is a little bit it's still the leaf size is large and it, it easily becomes a little bit too soft when you make it into shupur unless you have extremely high skill in fermenting it and uh, but i have to say that uh, for, i'm not sure if i've tried any shupur from this producer but my, my my fear is that i'm not sure that is the leaf really well suited for that but who knows i'll try it in the future and see how it how it is so i made a quick infusion so it's this first infusion come out it came out very like an orange, uh, light yellow orange. So, like I said, it's the eight-year-old tea, so it will not be very brown or very red. It's more, it's more like orange yellow. And if the tea was very young, it would now be quite yellow. But uh, uh, but now it has a little bit of age, so th this is the color. And, and the first infusion is is kind of faint, so I didn't infuse it very long. So now you get only some light woody aromas. But still, there is that that wonderful like a leaf tree aromatic note. This is just, I think, very nice. And now, uh, thanks to the larger leaf, this is it's very and it's actually a feature of the area also that it's very the arrival of the taste is very soft and and kind of wide. It's not dense and bitter. It's more like this very wide and and soft tasting tea. You can get quite a lot more punch from this tea also, but then it will be one of the following infusions when I in, uh, the tea is more opened up and then inf infuse a little longer. And you can get a, quite a good punch, but the, the kind of normal balance of this tea is that it's fairly like open and light. And the, the, woody, the woody element is not that dense either, so you do get this wood, but it's more a kind of crunchy and soft wood. And the taste, there is a kind of, there is a kind of the woody, light woody element, and then a kind of mossiness, and then a fair amount of uh, sweetness also in the taste. And the the freshness, that's the, uh, it comes more in the the development of the taste than in the aftertaste. So once you're actually, when you're actually drinking, it's more the kind of moss and wood, 
and, and then after you've swallowed and you wait a moment, then you get the kind of uh, returning taste that is more uh, fresh and, and maybe, I'm not sure if I would say really flowery, but it's, maybe you could say it's a little bit like fresh and fruity in some way. I have also uh, uh, had a version of this tea that was from 2006, so seven years uh, uh, older than this 2013 version, and that's very nice also. So that starts to have a little bit of brown color already, but the balance is very much the same. There is just that the wood element is, is somehow more decayed, but still there is a very fresh aftertaste even in that tea. I might introduce that here later, but but let's see. It's starting to be a little bit hard to find that, so I'm not sure if I can actually offer it, but let's see if I can source some. Okay, let's do at least one more infusion here. So I'll now do a little bit stronger infusion and just see how that works out. And now just in the teapot I managed to see the tea leaf a little bit. So there is in the in the tea leaf there's still a fair amount of green color into to it. Of course it's starting to turn into a kind of green olive color, not a kind of vibrant green, but but still it's a, still a fairly young tea, so you have this green color on the leaf. Okay. Okay, I think it was long enough, so we got a little bit stronger infusion. Yeah. And of course, the way you infuse the tea is totally up to you, but uh, you can increase the, the strength by just putting more tea leaf or infusing longer. Now, now it's, uh, it's, it's starting to be a bit more punchy. It's definitely a kind of fresh, uh, fresh wood. That's the kind of the main note. Fresh, fresh wood, tar, and the kind of uh, smell of like uh, leaves. Okay, maybe I'll show just quickly the color. So now it it, it did become a little bit darker in color now, but still, uh, it's not it's not uh, red or brown very much. It's more a kind of orange, amber orange. And now I think the aroma, you start to get a little bit like, like a tobacco type of aromas in this. It's a bit uh, kind of spicier. But still there is this running through this kind of oily leaf aromatic note. And, and there is a hint of the tar, but it's not dominating this tea. Okay, I think I like the balance of the taste much better now. So it's uh, the, the, the freshness of the taste is much more immediate. It comes almost immediately in the beginning. So there's more like a combining with the woody elements now. But still overall, it's not bitter in any way. So, so that's the one of the plus side of this tea that if you don't like this kind of dense bitterness, uh, then this tea doesn't really have so much of that. It's uh, it's not completely smooth and soft, but the bitterness is like a kind of slow to arrive, and it's like it's not like a, like stinging needles to your tongue. It's not of that type. And now there is some youthfulness to the taste. Now there's a bit more activity to it, and uh, and, and okay, some bitterness, but I think quite well controlled. So maybe that's enough for tasting this tea. I think it's really lovely, like a lot of wood, tobacco, leafy aromas and tastes. A very good length on the taste. Also the, the tea leaf in this, it, it can take quite a lot of infusion. You can make quite a lot of infusions out of this tea. So if you have this kind of a typical, uh, like a plantation, poor teas from the big producers, I think this is, this is just hands down better than any of those like if you top Menghai Tea Factory, for example, the leaf quality in this is just far superior to that, but but it's not really, the prices are not really that different. So I think it's a really good tea and a hidden gem. So I don't know, uh, if you like the tea, you can put a comment down below if you ever tried any tea from this area. It's not the most common, but tell me if you've ever tried it. Remember to push the thumb on below, subscribe to our channel. And we also now have an Instagram, so it's just, it's, I think it's just called Tea Trail and then underscore net, Tea Trail underscore net. And, uh, and visit, of course, the online store at ttrail.net. Okay, 
I think that's all for this time and uh, I'll come back soon with another video. See you.